I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody, here we have this Lenovo laptop in for service that's doing some pretty weird things. This laptop is probably not that old. I'm guessing, well, let me see. See if there's a manufacturing date. Yeah, this thing was made last year. So it's not even a year old yet and it's already in for service. What's going on with it is when the client starts up the computer, Windows 10, instead of displaying a uh, username and prompting for a password, if they have a password set, it just has a blank username and password as if it's on a corporate domain. Now that's kind of interesting. Let you see for yourself. Looks like a pretty basic in machine. Um, I'm looking at the little Intel sticker in it that says Intel inside, and usually when you see that, it's usually some base in Celeron. Typically, nothing too spectacular. Okay, so I'm going to unlock it. As, it it's as if it's on a corporate domain. And I believe this is Windows 10 Home. <clears throat> so it doesn't support domains. Client just said that one day they tried to start the computer to play some card games or chess or whatever. And they were greeted with this instead of their uh, username. And how interesting is that? So I'm going to try to go into safe mode here. See what we get. And we'll see if I can get into the administrator account. Which I think by default doesn't have a password set, so we'll see. I'm just curious to see what does in safe mode. It's like somehow our registry setting got changed. Because I have been looking at, I've been looking this up for a little bit, and found that there's a registry key that can be changed in the um, system registry to enable showing of user uh, user profiles or to disable the showing of those profiles. Okay, it's logging me into administrator. Makes me wonder if this thing has lost its uh, user profile somehow because it defaulted to the de the uh, built-in administrator account this will be probably the first time this thing's ever logged into the built-in ad admin account which is why it's taking a little bit longer really bizarre <clears throat> I 
Yep, very first time logging into the um, built in administrator account. So, in case you didn't know, Windows has a built in administrator account. And uh, by default, it's disabled. And you can enable it by, I think, going through the net user command. But in this case, since it's logging into the administrator account, it makes me wonder if the regular user account on this thing got corrupted. I wonder if, it makes me wonder if the client signed in with the Microsoft account. I, I've never really recommended that. Because sometimes if there's any sort of password conflict or something going on with the, with the online account, it could perhaps lock you out of your computer. Perhaps. I can't say it will, but I can say perhaps it could. I always prefer offline local accounts on your computer. In Windows 10, you can tie in the default or the built-in apps like the store with the Microsoft account without having to have the entire user profile associated with the Microsoft account. Okay, we just got logged in. Took only like 15 minutes. Yeah, it took forever. Um, and we have this error message showing that C Windows System 32 Config System Profile Desktop is unavailable. That's not good. Not good at all. So let's see if we can get File Explorer. Okay. See what's going on with this thing. <clears throat> so, Celeron N4000 CPU, um, 1.1 gigahertz. Yeah, this is not a really good computer, guys. <laughs> and we have four gigs of RAM. That's nice, but man, what a what a low end processor! Holy cow! So we can get the uh, start menu to come up. Not coming up for me. Just trying to launch on an Explorer window and I get <laughs> get errors. It's just really freaking weird. And of course, normally, that should open a file explorer window, but in this case, it's not doing it. So I'm thinking there's some serious corruption going on here. Yeah, definitely, definitely something going on that shouldn't be going on. Okay, I'm going to attempt to access Crystal Disk Info to check the health of the hard disk drive. The thing is, since File Explorer is not running, I'm going to do it from the run prompt. So let me see here. Or let me see if I can get a command prompt up. Okay, we got command prompt. And we'll assume we're dealing with drive E here. Yep. It's reading off the flash drive. See what kind of health the hard drive is in? Okay, hard drive is in good health. <clears throat> Say to 600. It's got 
388 power on counts and just 143 hours on it. So yeah, this computer's not even broke in yet. So it's really, really bizarre to see uh, like a brand new computer behaving like this. So it makes me wonder if there was some maybe an infection taking place or or what the heck is going on. It's just really weird. Okay, since I have the command window up, I'm going to let's try this. Let's try killing Windows Explorer if it's even running. Uh, I mean, I could actually start a new task through uh, Task Manager if I wanted to. And nothing. And nothing if I do it from Task Manager. So as I normally go to the run prompt to, to start stuff like this if I need to. <clears throat> Just try opening anything. Nothing. So yeah, start menu does not work. Left click nor right click, nothing. It's just really bizarre. So I think what I'm going to I think what's going to happen is we're probably going to, have to reload Windows on this thing. There's, there's definitely something going on here. Something's done, gotten corrupt somehow. That is really bizarre. <laughs> really bizarre. Oh, there are messages right there. An attempt was made to a reference. To, an attempt was made to reference a token that does not exist. Okay. So let's hope that the user folder is still intact. That way I can recover the files. So yeah, this is just really bizarre. Yeah, I've you know I've been working on computers for quite some time now. I don't think I've ever gotten one in now. It's just bizarre. The hard drive's fine, so I don't think it's a hardware issue. There's something going on software-wise. I don't know if this thing got infected or something, or something that simply got corrupted. Maybe a bad update. I mean, we are dealing with Windows 10, by the way, so could have been possibly maybe a bad update. Who knows? That's really, really, really bizarre. So, I restart this thing. Oh, wait. That's right. Yeah, if I restart this thing back into regular operation, we'll see the other user field again. So what I'll be doing is I'll be pulling the drive out, backing up the files off of it, and contacting the client to see what they want to do. See, in regular operation, administrator is disabled. It's uh, it's available in safe mode, but normally in, in regular operation, you'd have to you would have to run a a command in order just to get it to get it to function. Now, I mean, I pro I mean, there's a there's a slight chance that perhaps maybe more stuff would work in regular operation if I was to go in and enable the administrator account in regular operation. But I think at this point it'd be best to just let's see. Look, now we're at to we're totally at a dead end here. We we see a login prompt for administrator instead of the blank username and password or other user thing. Yeah. 
Yeah, this thing, this thing's wrecked. <laughs> it really is. Okay, so I'll resume this after I um, recover the after I recover the files, and once we get Windows reloaded, because I think that's what's going to happen. We're going to reload Windows on this thing, and that's after I get with the client and let them know that hey, this is what we're going to do. So, if for any reason like um, it doesn't go that way, I'm going to go ahead and end the video now. But otherwise, I'll continue on. Well guys, that's it for this one, but it doesn't have to be, there's plenty more videos on the channel to check out. Also, if you liked the video, please click the like button. And if you absolutely hated it, there is the alternative button as well. But yeah, please subscribe to the channel, I definitely appreciate it. And remember to click the bell so that we get notified of all updates. Also, if you're interested in things aside from computers and technology, check out my second channel, it's CubeCompMTDX. Over there you'll find videos about weather, elevators, bicycling and pretty much whatever else I figure out to upload. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for your support.